Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bada habita fillah Ahlul bid'ah Those people who have deviated from the sunnah The message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Are vigilant In their spreading Of deviancy Meaning in spreading their means and methodologies for going away from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and they are very active, and their dawa for some of the people, for some of the Muslims, can be very appealing, and this is why we have whole movements now of Muslims who claim secularism and Muslims who claim to be liberals or liberal Muslims or moderate Muslims or democratic Muslims all kind of new ideologies which were not known in the time of the Salaf nor in the history of Islam and these new ideologies as I said have an impact upon the believers and those trends and ideologies become widespread and methodologies and that is why it's imperative that we speak about those things and that we warn against those things and that we encourage one another to come back to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the understanding of the salaf and yes that involves a literalist or a more literal and more literalist interpretation of the book of Allah and the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because this is how the sahaba radiyallahu majma'in understood the deen and the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the best people are those of my generation then those who follow them then those who follow them the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifa. And that means Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, wa Ali, radiallahu ta'ala, and Majma'een. So that that path, that minhaj, that methodology is what we as Ahlul Sunnah try to adhere to, to the best of our ability. And the Prophet sallallahu said, Adu alayha bin nawajid. Adhere to it with your molar teeth. You know, bite, cling to it. Cling to it with your molar teeth. Your molar teeth are in the back of your mouth. That means that you're fully clinging onto it. And that is the best way it means for someone to express their religiosity. It is not simply just saying I'm Muslim, covering maybe, wearing makeup maybe, covering some of your body but not other parts, you know, saying your iman, your faith is in your heart only. All of these types of aspects of creed and ways of thinking depart from the understanding of how the Prophet ﷺ articulated the religion and how the Salaf of this Ummah understood this religion and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meant for us to practice and understand his religion. And the reason I say this is because when you look at the methodology, for example, of those who are really liberal and now with social media, you have so many, everyone can speak and have a free platform. It just takes getting many followers. And I see so many people on Twitter that are just, you know, they graduated from universities, women, they use makeup and they sometimes they wear makeup, sometimes they wear no hijab, sometimes they wear a khimar with makeup. And then they're almost given religious fatwa. Likewise, men, and you know, you, you hear any and everything and everyone, feels or no one feels shame and 
in, in speaking about the religion without knowledge. And this is why I want to encourage myself and my brothers and sisters to stick with those, of course, first and foremost, the scholars of Aha Sunnah and the du'at of khair those people who call you to the book of Allah, the sunnah, the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam based on ilm wa thiqh wa basira, that they have knowledge and wisdom and insight of the book and the sunnah and the madhab and the salaf because there are so many deceptive ways. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, if tarakat al-yahud ala ithna wa sab'in firqa, wa if tarakat al-nasara ala ithna tain wa sab'in firqa, wa sa taftariku hadhi umma ala thalatha wa sab'in firqa, kullaha finnaar ala wahida, kulla man hiya ya Rasulullah, qala man kana ala mithu ma kana alayhi wa ashabi. Which means, The Jews will break into 71 sects, the Christian into 72 sects, and my nation into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. Then the companions, they asked, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? And he said, those who are upon what I'm upon and my companions. So that lets us know that we have a methodology and a minhaj that we must emulate, we must adhere to, we must... Uh, uh, cling to with our molar teeth and here is a principle derived from an ether of the Salaf that if we take it to heart it will give us some tools to distinguish truth from falsehood that when we look and we listen to the people and we see on social media when they give you a Twitter when they give you a snapchat video when they give you an Instagram post when they say this and that about the Dean so many people look at who the people when they get on the radio for example on radio they always bring the, the more extreme Sufis to represent Islam and to talk about issues why don't they bring Ahl Sunnah very rarely occasionally you'll have an interview with some people like Yasser Qadi and, and people like this but they never bring Salafis they never bring those who adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that have Ilm wa Fiqh wa Basira they bring those popular ones those ones who are in those those spheres of influence in the society which is understandable from that Janet but yet they don't represent true Islam they represent a lot of times their opinions they give you Islam, but then they mix it with their modernist ideologies. So, listen to this statement, and this will help distinguish from some of those groups and individuals. On Abi, uh, on Abi Qilaba, on Abi Qilaba, radiyallahu ta'ala, rahimahullah ta'ala, qal, إِذَا حَدَّثَتَ الرَّجُلْ إذا هد إذا هدثت رجل بالسنة، فقال دعنا من هذا وهات كتاب الله فعلم أنه ضال. So listen to this أثر very closely. أبي قلابة said he said that if you speak to a person about the سنة، you know this is from the سنة for example. Saying something from the Sunnah. And then he says, Leave, leave, leave us. Uh, leave, leave us with this. Leave us from, uh, you know, don't give us this, basically. And give us from the Book of Allah. Give us from the Book of Allah. That's the haq. From the Quran. Wahi. Kalam Allah. Speech of Allah. Then he says, then, Therefore, know that he is misguided. Subhanallah. How could that be that someone could be misguided when they are the very ones who are saying, go back to the book of Allah. Give me something from the Quran. And how many people in their da'wah, look at, look at what's going on. If you read any books about Islam uh, that are in English, in contemporary, especially from a political science perspective, or a his historical perspective, or uh, anti uh, counter-terrorism, whatever perspective in one of the social sciences, you'll find that all the writers, almost all of them, leave the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah and have that methodology. And this was described by Abi Qilaba, showing us that, that it was a minhaj 
or a methodology from in the past that people develop this thing of leaving the sunnah and saying, no, 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 I don't want to hear from the sunnah, give me something from the book of Allah. No. It's kitabillah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is what distinguishes Ahl sunnah from Ahl bidah This is what distinguishes Ahl sunnah from Ahl bidah Because Ahl bidah will say, well, you know, it's from the sunnah, maybe it's not authentic. Well, we know those hadith, they will make tad'if. They will say a whole group of hadith uh, that doesn't go in accordance with their desires is weak not based on the sciences of hadith but based on their desires say no that's weak I don't take that the Quran says this so then they have explained the Quran in a way that the Salaf didn't explain it in a way that the Sunnah the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't detail and that shows their thought their deviance and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be on uh, with Alm and Nafia. Bless us with Alm and Nafia. Bless us with Rizq and Tayba. Bless us with Alm and Mutakabilan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyin Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.